In this video, we will show you how to perform the cervical torsion test to diagnose cervicogenic dizziness. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The cervical torsion test examines dizziness and nystagmus provoked by neck torsion and has demonstrated strong diagnostic utility in confirming a diagnosis of cervicogenic dizziness compared to benign paroxysmal positional vertigo according to a study of Loreux Le Beau et al. in the year 2014. However, it was previously suggested that nystagmus during this test may often be present in people who are healthy because of activation of the cervical ocular reflex. Furthermore, the precise amount of nystagmus required to determine a positive test would be difficult to observe with the naked eye and may require video oculography that may not be available in the clinic. Thus, the use of subjective symptoms has been suggested as an alternative clinical measure. Trilevin et al. in the year 2019 have performed this test in a group of healthy subjects to determine the test's specificity. They found a specificity of 98.5% in patients during the torsion part of the test. As sensitivity values first have to be evaluated in symptomatic groups, the clinical use of this test is unknown at this moment. To perform the test, have the patient seated on a swivel chair with the hip and knees flexed to 90 degrees. The patient closes his eyes in order to minimize afferent activity from the visual system. Then the examiner fixates the patient's head in neutral position and asks the patient to actively rotate the trunk to one side for at least 45 degrees and up to 90 degrees and to hold it for 30 seconds. This test is scored positive if the patient reports dizziness, visual disturbances, unusual eye movement after opening the eyes after the test, speech disturbance, motion sickness or nausea, slurred speech, dysphagia, lightheadedness, tinnitus, headache or paresthesia during or immediately after the test. Alright, this was our video on the cervical torsion test for cervicogenic dizziness. If you are curious about another test for the condition, click on the video right next to me. A lot of this information and much more can be found on our future course on the spine on our website study.physiotutors.com. Of course, we'll be happy if you leave a like and follow our channel. And this was Kai for Physiotutors. Thanks for watching. Bye.